First off, I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers. Um, thank you to those that have been leaving positive comments. Um, thank you to those that have been leaving suggestions on how to do things better. I really appreciate you guys. Um, it's been a while since I made a video, so I have moved um, from my previous location and I recently just got another place. So trying to get all my stuff together. I still don't have most of my tools yet because my shipment is not coming in. So hopefully I can do this with my toolbox set that I have and not run into any issues. But um, yeah, so we're back for another video today. Uh, today's video was actually inspired by 271. Um, I really like to support them. Um, they're a new business. They make really good stuff and I think their stuff is just as good as other companies. So. Um, I'm a fan of supporting like upcoming and small businesses. So, um, 271 isn't really small anymore, but um, they kind of just, you know, got out there in the market trying to, you know, find a place. So, but um, today uh, I got an email, well, not today, but I got an email from 271 uh, to pick up a throttle body connector for free because I had ordered um, my Inco and bush tubes from them. So all I had to do was pay for shipping, which was like pretty much nine dollars. I think it was like eight dollars and eighty-eight cents or something like that. And you get sent a new throttle body for free. So if you buy um, in cooler and boost tubes from two seven one, then um, you just might be due for one of these for free. So say him up um, I got an email from them in a the newsletter um, really nice of course I had to get the red one um, so you guys know so we'll just be replacing um, this so I'm gonna pop my hood and show you guys where exactly this is located um, it's actually between the charge pipe and the throttle body itself kind of thing so um, hopefully like I said I could do this with no hassle um, I don't have any power to so this is gonna be fine uh, but yeah, without any more, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so um, to start with, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we need to get the battery out, disconnect the battery completely. The battery needs to come out. Um, there is a harness at the bottom that makes like the battery tray that also needs to come out. And then whenever it comes out, then you guys can actually see like where the connector is, like somewhere in the back over here. It's like literally on this corner right here, which honestly, you, yeah, there's no way to get to it. You definitely have to get the battery out so you can give the connector some space to kind of like push it out. So first thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the battery and then I will move from there. Alrighty guys, now that we are here, so um, I'm gonna take uh, this screw right here and then this screw as well and uh, use a prying tool to pry this out. And then there is this screw right here that connects the, uh, Lord, I'm having a brain fart, it's too early for this. Uh, that connects the charge pipe to a harness right here. I think it's a 10, it's either a 10 or a 12. You would, um, take that out and then also disconnect the sensor right there and that would give you access to the two screws that have the the charge pipe uh, connector so It should be easy and I don't drop any bolts. 
Because if I do, I don't have a magnet. Alrighty guys, so I lied. Um, that was a, it was a 12, um, the bolt right there for this first harness. Right here, that was a 12. Um, unplugged the mass sensor. And then to get that one out for better clearance, I'm gonna use some needles, uh, needle nose pliers to, um, to pinch the clamp and uh, get it away from the throttle body so I can have better access to it. Considering the fact that I don't have um, a lot of tools but if you have a power tool you might be able to just put an extension right there and just get it out the only other thing would be how you get it back in so but i'm just gonna go ahead and use some needle nose pliers and um get that out so here we are update um man i could not get that hose up to save my life so um i just used the needle nose plier to kind of push the pins out the way um i ended up taking out the second oh here we go Okay, I ended up taking out the second. Uh, there is another 12 millimeter bolt right here. So there's two of them. There's this one and there is that one. They both need to come off. Put them right there. And um, for your battery harness, it needs to come out completely. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, shit. Let me see. Okay, so if you guys can see that screw over there that one and then this one those two screws hold the battery harness to the chassis and you just gotta loosen them a little bit and then you can pull the tray up after you loosen the three bolts like on the side of the rack uh, right here I can't really point some because I'm holding the flashlight and the camera but those holes one two and three right there um, when you take them out, you should be able to pull the battery handers uh, straight up. Uh, without an electric ratchet, it can be a little difficult getting down there. But um, once you get it out, that is it. And then we just go ahead and get to like actually taking out the... Alrighty guys, so um, I got the connector out. This is the old one, right? And this is the new one from 271. So apparently these, um, they start cracking uh, when you make a lot of power, apparently, which I kind of believe because when you feel this, like just the way it contracts and whatnot, it's just not, I don't know, just doesn't feel good quality and sturdy like this one is. So that's what that looks like. Uh, let me show you where it connects to exactly in the car. I don't know if you guys can see right there. So that space right there, that's your throttle body over there. And this is your charge pipe right here. Um, and literally the connector is in between. So uh, now that we have everything out, just gonna go ahead and start putting things back together and uh, we will be good to go from there. All right, guys, so next thing I'm gonna do is uh, start loosening the clamps and um, right here. So loosen the clamps a little bit. I use a deep 10 millimeter for this. Uh, yeah, that should be good. And then the other side as well, just to make sure it goes in fairly. And it only goes in one way, so um, can't really mess it up. Uh, the big side goes on the throttle body and the smaller side goes on the charge pipe. So, uh, just a little bit. Okay, there we go. That works. Alrighty, guys. So, just putting this back in reverse order, I just kind of wanted to show you guys um, things that you have to take out when you get to the, to the battery harness. Uh, so, there are... Oh, where's my flashlight? Okay. 
Okay, so you see those that screw over there? That one needs to come out. There is also another screw like right there um, on that harness. It's hard to do this because it's a little dark. You know, it's bright outside. Um, so those two screws need to come out. There is a screw like right here on the wall. And then there is another one that's supposed to be there. I haven't put that back on yet. Those two need to come out. Um, and then this one right here, this one that whole connector right there needs to come out. So um, you don't have to mess with these on top uh, right here, just because like they're they're just holding the harness together. So those don't need to be removed. And then you got to get the two bottom ones that I showed you guys earlier. So um, yeah. Alrighty guys, so um, that was the end of the video. Uh, hopefully you guys find this video helpful. Um, like I said, you don't have to replace your um, throttle body connector. Uh, I just, I got it for free and I was like, you know, why not? Um, probably gonna make a lot of power eventually. So I was just like, I might as well just replace it right now. Um, just have that safe bed on the side. And um, the strut bar was just absolutely amazing. I've been wanting to get one, just never got around to it. Um, as soon as they came out so i'm glad i was able to get my hands on one if you guys like this video make sure you hit the like button um hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber uh i have to figure out how to mount the gopro in my car so i can start doing like more in-car reviews for you guys um i i have all my stuff but they they're just not here yet so kind of have to figure out how to go about that but um hopefully you guys enjoy this content and um i will see you guys next video peace